It was Saturday, December 3rd, 2016, and our plans were to go Christmas caroling at a nursing home with the youth group, and Daniel was going to be playing guitar, Anna would be singing. Daniel was working with a friend at the shop in East Ridge for a few hours before that event. I got a call from my best friend, and she was hysterical. She said there had been an accident. She said, it's Dan. And she was crying, and I said, is he alive? And she didn't answer me. I remember driving up to the parking lot where the accident took place. I knew it was an accident. I knew it involved a car, but I didn't know the details. He hit the wall of the building when the woman drove off the road and hit him. And his whole face hit the wall and then slammed on the ground. There was a lot of blood pouring out of his face. He was struggling to breathe. He was struggling to live. He had significant traumatic brain injury, significant facial fractures, fractures of his clavicle, his ribs, contusion to his lungs, fracture to his elbow, fracture to his pelvis. He was not oxygenating very well because of the massive facial trauma that he had. We need to get an airway in this child or he will pass away. They said, we have to take him to the operating room right now. We're calling in a neurosurgeon. And I thought, a neurosurgeon, and they're gonna open his skull and, and he's gonna live? He had many, many surgeries. The next week he had one every single day. And it was like, are we gonna get through another one? Are we gonna get through another one? How can a human being get through all this? And he did. They just kept bringing him back and he'd, he'd come back through again. The doctors were really good. The surgeons were obviously incredible because they saved his life. When he woke up from his coma, he was wondering where I was. And Daniel, he, I think he was spelling with sign language. And he said, where's Anna? I was like, wait, he actually wanted me? Like, he knows who I am. I don't really remember a lot of pain waking up because I was waking up from a drug-induced coma. I do remember confusion. A lot of it's just a blur, but I remember some of the stuff and then I've seen pictures. I had to practice walking again, and getting back up to speed, stuff like that. I had speech therapy, which I didn't really like, but you know, it was okay, I had to get that done. But then the physical therapy, it was fun, because I mean, I hadn't done that in, I think, like two months, so it was, it was great to get back to doing that. All those supporters, all the hospital people, doctors, surgeons, nurses, friends and family, thank you. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs>